Welcome to Calgary. This young city is one of Canada's fastest growing cities. It's known for hosting the Calgary Stampede every year. However, there is so much more to do and see in Calgary than to attend the Stampede. And in this video, we plan to show you the best things to do, see, and eat in Calgary in just one day. Good morning from Calgary, from Tim Hortons actually. Yeah, get some donuts, coffee. Coffee and they, what they call Timbits. <laughs> and don't mind the construction noises, we're in a construction zone, but we couldn't help but to come to Tim Hortons first thing this morning. Yeah, I need coffee, otherwise it'd be very cranky. Yeah, he gets kind of like hangry and yeah. yeah, without coffee he's not good. No, no, no. not pleasant. But we're gonna drink our coffee and eat our donuts Timbits. here, our Timbits, and then we're gonna head over to Scotsman's Park, which we've heard has a great view of Calgary. <laughs> we're gonna try these little Timbits. We got four flavors. There's um, original, honey glazed, birthday, um, cake. birthday cake, and then chocolate glazed. Chocolate glazed. So yeah, one of each so we can try each kind. Yep. Oh. So here we go, this is the original. Let's see. Good. Tastes like a donut hole. Tastes like a donut hole. Yep. <laughs> All right. I want to try that honey glazed one. The white one. There you go. Let's just you take a bite and I take a bite so we don't eat the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Honey glaze. Mmm. I like that one. That tastes just like a glazed donut. <laughs> I was gonna say, it kind of just looks like a glazed donut. Yeah. But. We also got a couple of drinks. I got oh, the yeah. caramel um, ice drink. I don't know. It tastes good. It tastes sugary and sweet, which is exactly how I like my coffee. More sweet than coffee. <laughs> Alright, which okay. one next? Okay, let's do the chocolate glazed. I like that one. That one tastes a little more fresh. Yeah. Mm. That one's good. That one's good. And we have one more birthday cake. It's got sprinkles on it. Mmm. <laughs> got your little sprinkles even on the inside. Yeah, that one's good. Messy. Mm. Oh, really good. Oh, well, the birthday cake is birthday the best cake. one. Do the birthday cake. For yeah, sure. birthday cake for sure. <laughs> also, we just wanted to say that for all these donuts, we got ten donut holes, two medium-sized <laughs> drinks, and it was like eight U.S. dollars. That's amazing. Crazy. But I think I paid eight dollars for one medium latte at Starbucks in the U.S. Yeah. before we came here. So. so this, like Canada, so far has been so cheap food-wise like food for wise, us. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely something to note. And it's good too. The coffee and the donuts, yeah. very cheap and good. All right, we are here at Scotsman's Hill. It is such a pretty view of Calgary. Yeah, it's really cool. We should have brought our Tim Hortons up here to eat. Right, we ate it and then drove up here. Yeah. <laughs> this the this hair, wind the is... Hair, the wind is oh really my affecting goodness. Alien's hair. <laughs> but this is such a cool view. If you have time to come here, you should. It was a 10 minute drive from our hotel in downtown Calgary. So Yeah, we were going to walk it, but yeah, it probably would have been a bad idea. <laughs> it was like an hour walk, but it wasn't too bad of a drive. Super easy to get to for a drive though. And I mean, these views are amazing. And there's a marching band practicing down there somewhere down there as well. So we've got music in the background. It's just a cool spot. Highly yep. recommend. We just came to the Calgary Library because of these stairs. <laughs> we had to come when we saw the, when I saw this online. I was like, I have to come to this place. I love architecture, and this is just so cool. I don't I don't even know the story about this behind this, but I mean, 
it's awesome. Even the outside looks awesome too. This building is super yeah. unique, so I think it's worth stopping. I also want to note that we did pay to park our car here, but in US dollars it was like a dollar to park. So super cheap to park here as well. don't know this, Brandon is a computer programmer, so of course we're in a library and what does he do but find the freaking programming books. <laughs> we can't travel without him thinking about work apparently. <laughs> While in Calgary we are trying to eat all the best Canadian foods and <laughs> um, I read online that there is a drink that is similar to a Bloody Mary and I love a good spicy Bloody, Bloody Mary. Marys. So this place, the Beltliner, has apparently one of the best Clamata drinks that you can have. So we're going to head in here and try one and also get ourselves a more of a hearty breakfast slash lunch since we only had donuts so far oh, today. Yeah. Food. <laughs> over this music. <laughs> Next up on our Calgary food tour is some poutine. I read online that this place, Streets, has the best poutine in town. So we're going to give it a try. Oh, actually, we're going to give this a Mexican style poutine a try. So. Yeah, they have a lot of different things too. They have the Mexican, a pierogi, and a chicken and waffle poutine. So definitely interesting tries. So, or flavors. <laughs> so let's give this one a try though, see how it is. Take a little bit of everything? Yeah, I got a little bit of everything in there. Okay. Right. Think it? Your bite's bigger than mine. Mm. Are good? You like tacos? And think it. Mm. Yeah, this is like a fried version 
I'm a nacho, I feel like. There's gravy at the bottom, though. I don't feel like this is like normal poutine at all. This is like poutine not crack. <laughs> Try the Mexican poutine. It's so good. Mm, that's really bad. You can eat more. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna enjoy this. We're at Sweet Relief Pastries right now. Is one of the Canadian things that I heard that was really good to try is called a name. I think I'm gonna say it right. Name Nanaimo bar. That sounds right. I'll put name. the name up here for you guys. <laughs> name Nanaimo bar. So we heard that this was one of the best places to get it. So this is not at all what the picture looked like online. I feel like, but this is gonna be my name Nanaimo bar that I'm gonna try. And I got a red velvet something. Um, a a Calgary. Something. It was a. Um, Calgary version of the red velvet bar. I don't know. So let's try them. Right, think it and think it. I yeah, mean, good. that tastes really good. <laughs> I don't feel like this is the version of the Nanaimo bar that I was thinking of in my head or that I had seen photos of. But it does still taste really good. Yeah. They had a lot of pastries and stuff in there, so. I'm like trying to identify what it tastes like. I don't know. Tastes good. Definitely Coconut, a good place to come if you want good sweets while you're here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> now that we're getting really fat eating Nanaimo bars <laughs> and poutine, <laughs> we're gonna now head to High Park and um kind of burn off some of these calories a little bit yeah hopefully all of them but uh yeah. hopefully all of them because we also have a dinner reservation tonight <laughs> <like> that <laughs> <laughs> we need to be hungry for so we're gonna finish these off and then head to, over to high park we'll work it all off and bam and <laughs> hey we're at high park <laughs> and it's cold yeah. and we paid for two parking spots <laughs> just a heads up read On the instructions before you start <laughs> Paying for parking. <laughs> <laughs> but this High Park area is a super cool little colorful um, parking lot, like the top of the parking lot that they have converted into a really cool little colorful and creative space to hang out. So we're gonna check it out and see what all there is to offer here. I'm shocked I'm actually getting any airborne at all. We went back to the hotel real quick, got ourselves all changed, and gussied up. I just had to tell Brandon what gussied up meant. Sounds so weird. <laughs> we got ourselves dressed up, and now we are heading out for a night in the sky. Tonight we are dining at the Sky 360, which is located in the Calgary Tower. And we are literally rotating around so that we can get a 360 degree view of Calgary while we dine. They were in high school when they met, and things got kind of awkward. With sparks in the air, he would stare at her in class, and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh. We just got upgraded. <laughs> we were sitting on the interior um, table and we just got upgraded to a window seat. Probably. <laughs> Make it beautiful and maybe 
now Call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know Now before we continue to show you the rest of this video, I do want to put a disclaimer on there. You'll notice that we have another change of clothes, and that's because we actually filmed a couple of these spots the night that we got into town. We had just a little bit over one day in Calgary, and we didn't want to waste our time the night that we got in, so we did a couple of these things the night that we flew into Calgary. However, we definitely think everything in this video could be done in one day if you plan your time right. We are here in Calgary at the Peace Bridge, which goes over the Bow River. Yep, and this bridge is an iconic landmark here in Calgary. It was made or designed by a Spanish architect in the year 2012, it opened, and he said it was one of the most challenging projects that he has ever done. It was named the Peace Bridge as a tribute to the military. Yeah, we looked that fact, up, that fact up because we weren't sure why it was named the Peace Bridge, so apparently he said it's a tribute to the military. Real quick, I just want to point out, I am at the park near the um, Peace Bridge, and this place is packed. It's like 8.30 at night, the sun is still out, there are people riding bikes, using their one wheel, skateboarding, all sorts of stuff. We read online as well that this um, Peace Bridge attracts over 9,000 visitors per day in the summer, so be aware of that. It's hard to get photos and video while you're here, but it's still worth seeing. After a brief walk along the Bow River and exploring the Peace Bridge, we headed downtown to see what the nightlife was all about here in Calgary. Brandon just did a really quick Google search because we are like seriously so shocked at how clean this city is. There's no trash anywhere. We've been walking for 40 minutes. We yeah. haven't found any trash. I dropped a fry and I picked it up because it's so freaking clean here. We didn't want to leave the fry on the ground. We felt like it was a mess. <laughs> it's seriously so clean though. So um, according to Google, it is the cleanest city in the world, apparently at least. They claim that it is, which is really cool. And they've got this like match between like, what did they say? Just like living city life and living a clean life. I don't know what it is said now. I don't yeah, but if you're cool. if you're a city person though, and you enjoy exploring cities, I think that this is a great place to come because there's a lot to do, and it's very clean, and everyone has been friendly, and it's just been great so far. Yeah. that it is still so light out. You guys, it is 10.09 at night, and it is still so bright. Just wanted to point that out, I don't know. <laughs> It is finally starting to get dark out, which is perfect because I read online that the place to see at night is the Wonderland sculpture. So we are here at the sculpture and it looks so cool. I'll show you better shots, but this sculpture is, um, or was made to represent the youth and growth of the young here in the province. And it's just such a beautiful sculpture of a young girl sculpted um, and like moved around with the metal it's just awesome you can also walk through it so let's just let's see it <laughs> 
Dave, I just thought of that the coolest thing. Okay, we are inside like the mind of a little girl. That's what I feel like right now. It makes me feel playful. Like being inside the sculpture right now, I don't know, something about it makes me feel youthful, knowing the meaning behind it and knowing that it was meant to like help inspire the youth and I don't know. I just feel like I'm inside the mind of a little kid right now and it's really fun. <laughs> We just got back from our night in the sky at the Calgary Tower and although honestly we're super ready for bed, we feel like there is one more thing that we have to eat in the food tour portion of this video and that for us, if you're gonna go to Canada, you have to get ketchup chips and they also have, what are these? All dressing chips. I like the ketchup ones better. Um, but Ali and likes these too. In fairness, I've had these before. I've been to Canada before. I had these and I brought a bag home to Brandon and he ate them all right away. Like within an hour. Of the <laughs> so hopefully we don't eat all these tonight, but we're gonna eat them in front of you guys. So let's see. I'm going into the ketchup chips first. I like it. Mm. It tastes amazing. It doesn't like taste like ketchup to me, but mm. I feel like it's just like crispy, goodness, savory. USA, I don't know what you're doing, but why don't we have these? They're so good. This one tastes like they took like a couple dressings, maybe even all the dressings, <laughs> and they put them on. Who knows though? It's good. It's good. I gotta try ketchup one now. A switch. Of course you would say that about these though. What does the ketchup one taste like? Okay, all dressing. I honestly feel like I kind of like the all dressing more. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> these are the best. <laughs> I'll move to Canada for this. This is so good. Mm. He's not joking though. He probably would. He puts ketchup on like everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd put ketchup on these too. Yeah. That was good. Ketchup on the ketchup chips? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we are clearly tired and we need to be getting to bed because we have a very early start tomorrow. So if you enjoyed watching this video, follow along for our next video where we're driving the Icefields Parkway. If you want to see me eat 10 of these bags in one <laughs> sitting, Let's see 100,000 likes on this video. I'll yeah. do it even without it, but it'd be cool Good to get luck that. that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I, we really like the ketchup chips. We're <laughs> really into them. Oh, I think we're going to try a couple of my frame. Oh, yeah. Huh?